Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Hope you are all good. As you all know, Windows has just recently launched the new version of Windows 11, that is Windows 25 H2. So today we will see how to install Windows 25 H2 in a new computer without using a Microsoft account and with using Microsoft account. And I will show you how to download the ISO file of Windows 25 H2 without the Microsoft account. So to do that, open any browser. Type here Windows 11 25 H2 ISO and hit enter. So you will get the first link here, Microsoft Microsoft link, download Windows 11, hit on to link. So now you will get this screen. So to download the operating system ISO image, so here you will be asking to install the assistant. So this will verify if your hardware is compatible with Windows 11 newer version or not. So this screen you will be getting before you begin, you will need to make a media creation. I will show you how to create the media creation. So now you will ask to download the Windows 11 ISO image. Just select the Windows 11 multi edition and you can see here it will ask you to review the hardware requirement and how to set up it. So now if you can hit download, it will start download straight away. So I have already downloaded the operating system as you can see here. I have already downloaded it. It's straight pretty for, uh, straight forward. So now we will be creating a media creation. How to create the bootable media from the ISO. So to do that, try to install Rufus. It's a very handy tool to create any ISO to the bootable image. So I have inserted a pen drive in my computer. So select the ISO image. Here I can see download Windows 11. I have selected the Windows 11 25H2 ISO image and it's a standard Windows installation. Hit start. Okay. Okay. So now the Windows bootable media is, is creating. So in this case, we will be installing the Windows 11 25H2 in VirtualBox. So you can use this creation tool to install it in a fresh installation. So in this way you will be creating it. So you can see here the ISO image is getting copied. So we will wait for a while and we will see how the bootable image is getting created in using my pen drive. So this will take some time. I have inserted 8 GB of thumb drive or flash drive pen drive to my computer. So once it's done it will show complete here. So after that you can eject your pen drive and insert it to the computer and restart the computer and hit F12 or F2 or delete to show the bootable device option. So from there you can select your pen drive and hit enter it will start. So in our scenario we will be opening a virtual box. So we will be installing it. I will show you how to install it in a virtual box. So I will give you the name Windows 11 25 H2. So I will be selecting an ISO image. So here I am selecting the Windows 11 ISO image. So hit skip unattended installation. Hit next. So it's asking the default hardware configuration of 4 GB of memory and 2 cores of processors. My laptop is having 16 GB of memory. You can select any of the memory size if you are asked for your hardware requirement or your hardware of your laptop. So by default it's taking 80 GB of hard, hard disk space hit next finish so now you can start the virtual machine so as you can see the uh, powering of vm is going on so i can see the screen so hit enter so you can see the screen size is small so to make the screen size bigger hit view and click scale mode click switch so now you can see the screen has enlarged and I can see the installation. So now the let's the installation get started. So now we will see what's the status of our media creation Rufus. So it's 7%. So just I am showing you how to create the bootable media out of it. So you can use it in a later on. So in our case, we are installing it in a virtual box. So let me minimize it. I will show you first how to install Windows 11 25H2 without Microsoft account local account hit next hit next windows 11 agree next level hit next so it's asking for the product key if you have the product key of windows 11 earlier versions you can use it so right now we don't have any product key now hit i don't have product key
what you can see here it's asking to select the version of your operating system Windows 7 so just we are installing it on your test basis so we will go for Windows 7 home click next accept the agreement now we will see about the status it's 8.9 percent make it make the bootable device so now it select the hard drive and click next now you can see here it's ready to install install now it's showing installing Windows 11. Your PC will restart several times. This might take a while. So it's 7%. Available I will fast forward the video to save time. Now it's 10%. You will get I will get back to you once it's once I will get to see the next step. Thank you for your patience, right? Now the, the process has completed 100%. Now installation has, is, is in progress. Now let us see how much is the proofers progress is going on. So as you can see, it took around 23 minutes now. Now it's almost it's 98%. So it's, it's, after, it's almost done. So we'll wait for it and we'll see how much time it will take to create it. It depends upon the machines what you're using. So I'm using a virtual machine also, so that's the reason the hardware resource is consuming more in this. So that may be the reason it's taking time. Normally it takes 10 to 15 minutes of time to create a bootable media. So now we will see how much is the installation progress. So now it's 33%. So let it complete 100%. Let me fast forward the video, then I will come back to you. Thank you. As you can see, I am into the final configuration menu. Our bootable media has been created successfully using Rufus. 
it took around 35 minutes as i said you can just remove it and you can book double you can boot your machine with your portable usb drive and you can start installation and you will come to this screen so now i will show, show you how to install windows 11 without the microsoft account to do that you need to hit in this screen you need to hit shift f10 so i am using a laptop so that's the reason i am hitting function shift and f10 so i am able to see the command prompt So in this command prompt, you need to write O O O gaps O O B E. I will share you this command. I will paste this in the description section. So you can write O O B E B Y P A S S N R O. So by this command, you will be disabling the internet connection requirement for the Windows 11 final configuration. So hit enter. So now the windows will get restart now so once the windows is getting once once the windows get restart now you are good to go so if you don't want to if you want to use windows 11 with microsoft account you can hit next with the country code and you can start straight away the the installation process is straight forward so once you are setting up the wi-fi or your wired network so it will download the updates then you will be prompted to log into the machine with the microsoft account if you have not having have any microsoft account you can create one in the same screen so in this scenario i will show you how to finish the final configuration without microsoft account and creating the user local user account Now as you can see the windows has been restarted successfully by passing the internet connection requirement so what we will select the region us by default you can select your region so to confirm the setting i will do one thing i will turn off my wi-fi just for confirmation i'm recording the whole process just to make sure to show you the entire process to not to miss out a single process so that it can be easy for you so now it's asking for the keyboard layout hit us hit next so it's asking for the secondary keyboard layout skip checking for updates as we have disabled the internet connection requirement and i have disabled my wi-fi connection as well in from my laptop Now as you can see, I have disabled my Wi-Fi connection and we bypassed the requ internet requirement prerequisite. Now it's asking you to put the username. So now we will put my channel name that is center B boy hit next. Here it's asking even better use an online account. By hitting this, you will ask to you will be prompted to use the Microsoft account. So we have given the username as data center boy. So now we will give the password as data at the rate one two three just for testing purpose. Data at the rate one two three. Hit next. So confirm password. Data at the rate one two three. Hit next. So it's asking for the security questions. If in case if you missed out any, you miss out the password. So what was your first pet name? So we will give data next. Now it's asking for the second question. So city mail. It's just a random question. So you can just fill out the correct one hit text the third one i will select the question childhood nickname data one two three i'm just giving it random questions and random answers so you can set the security questions properly if in case if you miss out the password so it will be helpful for you to recover your password so now the installation has been completed almost so now it's asking for the privacy settings just keep in mind so turn off the location settings and find my device and diagnostic data this options will slow your computer and your data will be transferred to microsoft so 
this is the better option if you disable all these options for your safety and privacy so disable everything and hit accept so as you can see the windows is booting up for the first time now you will see windows 25 x2 getting things ready for you so now the profile is getting created as you can see we created the username called data center boy so now it's saying this might take a few minutes as this is a virtual machine so this can take a bit lengthy time but in actual machines this will be this process will be a bit faster Thank you for your patience. So as you can see, here the main start menu has been opened. So you can see the username here, data center boy. So if you want to browse for all the programs, you can hit all and you can create, you can browse up all the programs you have installed in your computer. So this is the one of the major update what we are about to see in Windows 11 and there are so many other things also. So just to confirm and show you which machine we have installed go to systems you can see here it's the RAM which we gave is 4 GB so it's showing as 3.98 GB as you can see here it's Windows 11 Home 25 H2 the latest Windows has been installed successfully without any error so this is the same way you can follow it so as you can see the icon size is a bit bigger so you can go and change the screen resolution display settings and as this is a virtual machine i'm unable to do all the settings here you can just go and you can change the display resolution so the and you can see here the cockpit is here the browser is here the app store is also here so we'll go to the settings and we will see we will find any set changes there click out of settings just keep in mind for your privacy and security purpose disable go to the privacy and security and disable all the under unwanted and unrelated tracking notifications so you can see here by going to the settings it's showing it's not activated if you have the CD key you can click here and you can activate your windows so what I said earlier privacy and security these are the most important things what you need to do while protecting your privacy and security go to each and every options and so like let's say I will show you one speech by default the switch speech will be all on so as this is a virtual machine it will be off so if you keep it on all the applications which require the microphone it will be accessing it so let's say device typing personalization so you can see here you can disable this as well so you can browse around all the necessary options and you can play around with this so as you have seen we have successfully completed it so please like share and subscribe my youtube channel please support my youtube channel and my hard work this might be a bit lengthy one video maybe so please support my efforts it will be very helpful for me to work hard in the near future thank you for watching my video thank you friends